All right, hey guys. Um, we are at Idea Hacks uh, 2015. Uh, my name is Matthew, and I am on a team with um, Kevin Wei, Nick Guan, and Quan Chao. So our projects uh, involved using the Pebble Watch. So then, um, originally, right now, we are in simplicity mode. But our idea was to design, like, create an app that would uh, simulate um, stock. Stock prices uh, being updated in real time. So then we set our criteria as any change from negative five to five percent. So in order to see these changes reflected on the Pebble Watch, we would press the down button on on here. And then as you can see that see Facebook update um, it increased by 5.38 percent and uh, AT&T increased by 6.93 so then, yeah, as we can see, um, this was all created using a random number generator in a uh, Python script. Um, I, I wrote that part. Um, Kevin and, no, sorry, Nick and Quan wrote most of the front end and back, front end and back end information. It's hard to see the code, but um, it's basically uh, involving a lot of JSON here. And um, it's ba it basically communicates with uh, mo uh, the mobile. Shit, hold on. Yeah, as you can see, it vibrates in real time and displays the amount, the percentage change. Hey, fun. Can you turn on your phone? Sorry. So basically here is our uh, mobile Pebble app. So if we go to settings, it allows us to uh, set our watch list of whatever stock code we want. So it's kind of hard to see here, but we could enter any, any stock we want right now. So we basically have, um, we have Facebook, we have AT&T, like say let's want to add Google. Um, shoot. See, all right, sorry, it, that, that might have been hard to see, but we basically submitted. Um, the stock code, which is uh, G-O-O-G -O -O for Google, and it showed up on our personal watch list, and then we are free to uh, delete it if we want. So we could delete MMM right here, and then we could basically just alter whatever whatever stocks we want. So then our, our we made it so that um, our input would be limited to five characters, so you can't just do like something crazy if you try to submit it. Error stock symbol not found in database. So we basically uh, created a database of 32, actually 33 companies that were the biggest, um, like, in um, on the stock traded at the moment. So then we have like pretty big names like yeah, AT&T, Facebook, Google, Apple, etc. So then, in order to see whatever, whatever um, our watch list is, we would submit our watch list. And then, uh, for for notifications, like always, put the setting on later. And then basically, this is like how we update in real time. So then, yeah, we have Facebook from our watch list. It's decreased by negative six point four percent. And then, yeah, it's updating in real time. <laughs> so yeah, in a nutshell. Oh wait. Can you, can you um, log back in? In a nutshell, like, it's very hard to see. I don't know if it's going to be possible to see. But here's our, basically all the HTML, CSS code. More of the front end side. Um, yeah, so then we, yeah, so then what we're doing is we're checking the validity of JSON here. And then checking um, if, like, our input for 
our watch list is greater than five, then we're obviously not going to accept, accept it. So then most of this information is um, repoed on GitHub, and then our main hosting site was pythonanywhere.com. So then, um, yeah, just try to ch check us out, and yeah, thanks. Bye.